Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome back to Pony Power. Um, there's no secret here. This is the uh, CX500 Honda engine. Uh, it's a 1981-2. slash um, And basically what's happening is, uh, what happened was, is I did the uh, CX250 series and uh, it worked out quite well. Um, the views are coming, etc. You know, people seem to enjoy it. There's quite a few likes, etc. And I kind of like doing the format as well of getting an engine and splitting it down from a complete engine to um, its bare components and going through the design, etc. Now, there was a different. Basically, what happened was, is I did the two-stroke uh, KX250, and I chose that engine, and I chose to do the series at the time because. Of the kip system, so it's just showing people um, not just a basic two stroke because all that is in there, and not showing them the gearbox and how they interact, etc., and how they fit it together and the design elements of it, but also it was showing um, how sophisticated two strokes can get. Now, that's a 19, I think it's a 1997 or a 1998 version, so even that, you know, that's coming up nearly 20 years ago. Um, you know, so that was basically just showing the extreme of it back in the 80s, you know. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, continue, not continue the series, but start a new series off with a uh, two-stroke, uh, a, fo a four-stroke, sorry. Oh, I'm getting muddled up. A four-stroke, and I wanted it to be as different from the KX250 engine as possible. So not only it being four stroke, but if I got a single cylinder, just like an XT350 or something stupid like that, um, a four stroke single, apart from the head and slight difference with the um, crankshaft casing, the rest of it's pretty much nearly exactly the same. It's just the head really, the cylinder's different obviously, but I'll just say, well, there's no holes in the cylinder, and that's it. Um, and you know, there's an extra, there's an oil control ring, that's about it. So I wanted to do something that was <coughs> multiple cylinders and the design aspects and how you go around designing, building and maintaining and you know, what it looks like, etc. I wanted something that was unique, so it had a different type of gearbox layout, it had the four stroke element obviously with the valves, but then I just wanted to go with something completely, completely different. And uh, luckily enough, about a month ago, I found this puppy on um, eBay and I paid sod all for it practically. Now yes it's in a shit state but it's a unique find. Now there are bits missing and we'll get into that later but I have not, oh you probably tell, I have not opened this engine yet so I'm quite excited about this as well. Um, have I ever disassembled one of these? No. Um, so in a sense that's a good element to have it as well. You know, I've never come across this engine before. I, I knew it existed, etc. But I've never actually worked on or taken one of these apart. Um, so it'll be good to see how you tackle something like this if you've never opened something before, because I've never opened this before. Um, and it's, it's just it's just a cool engine. So um, that's what the upcoming series is about. Um, again, this is just the intro, and then part two which is really part one, will actually go into bits. It's in the same way as the KX250 that's into work, so we'll just uh, stick with that um, format, that layout, and uh, crack on from there. So, watch part two, um, if you want, <laughs> if you find it interesting, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 